Looks like you have a sim box. I'd like to be joined by Amy Timlin. How are you doing, Amy? I'm alright, thanks. Yeah, so obviously we're down there, you know, just watching you uh, training with Kieran. Um, I, had a, I believe you've been added to the, the card in December. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that? Um, well, from what I know of, because I don't know much, it hasn't been fully like put out there yet. No one knows about it, but it's the 14th, I think, at the University of Bolton Stadium, yeah. something like that. Um, the girl I'm fighting, she's quite experienced, but I know that with the training I've been having and what I've been doing, it will all pay off, and hopefully I'll wear her down through the rounds. Fantastic. Now, how did this partnership with Kieran, this working relationship with Kieran, come around? It's actually a funny story because I was with BCB originally and Kieran commented on one of my videos on the BCB page saying um, Kate Taylor Esquire and then I liked his comment and then he was asking me what weight it was so I told him and then that's how I got to know him and then now I'm here. Fantastic. Now, you know, you said you mentioned you worked with uh, BCB in the past. Um, I think it was a 3 0 record you've got at the minute? Yeah. Like that, yeah. So, so, can you tell us a bit about your professional background? Um, obviously, you made your debut back in May. Um, so, I'll take it from there for us. Um, yeah, I had my debut May the 11th at Walsall Town Hall. Um, I, s I fought a little southpaw, quite scrappy, headbutting me, elbowing me. And it was quite. It wasn't a tough fight, but she made it a scrappy fight, so it was like more. It, it kind of threw me off a bit from the first round, but then throughout the rounds when they've gone on, I got used to her, um, and you could tell by the fourth she didn't want it. And if it went on any more rounds, it would have. I don't think she would have carried on. And the second was similar. I uh, the girl I, the girl was the same. She was headbutting me, which was unorthodox, and um, it was just. It was quite scrappy as well, but like I said, the, when I got on with the rounds, it was I could have stopped her again because I kept stronger as the rounds gone. And then my last fight, uh, it was the same. I went up like four weight divisions okay. for the fight, and the girl has fought like I think she had like forty fights. She was she was quite experienced, and she's fought Natasha Jones and stuff. Right. Okay. So she's quite. She's not. Not the best, but she's experienced. Yeah, definitely. And um, I was wearing her down as the rounds went on as well, so I think if it was six, it would have been more like of a stoppage or something, I reckon. Right, okay, so you know, you, you say that, you know, some of these uh, more difficult opponents, so you, yeah. you, you tend to find that you wear them down later on. Do you think that's like a, a big part of your game, that, you know, outlasting some of these people that are coming fast out of the blocks in the smaller round fights? Do you believe that you, you know, your game is to outlast and outwork these, these other fighters? Yeah, because I have a similar style to what Kieran had, so I like to come forward and break my opponents down. So four twos, I don't think it's enough time to do that, because by the fourth, they're hurt, and I, I know they're hurt, but I haven't got enough time to keep it going, so mm -hmm. it, by the time I do, if the fight's ended. So do you think your style is going to be suited to, you know, as your career progresses, you start bringing in more rounds, do you think that's when you start seeing the better results? Yeah, I reckon I'd get a few more stoppages under my record. Fantastic. Now, I mean, you know, if watching you on the pads down there, you know, the first time I've had the pleasure of seeing you working with Kieran, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely an exciting style that you have, you know, a lot of power um, and, like you say, a lot of come forward pressure. Um, so it should be a really exciting watch to, to follow your journey. Yep, hopefully. Yeah, so is you know, is there anyone you'd like to give a shout out to while you're on the uh, on the interview with some box? Um, yeah, my my step parents because they do so much for me. Like, they fund me to go for fights and stuff, and they always they support me no matter what. They throw money at me and stuff like that to get me where I am. So without them, none of this would be possible. I really don't think it would because I haven't got a big fan base. So they have to kind of like pay for my fight, which. They don't have to do it because they're not my parents, but they choose to, which I really appreciate. So. Yeah, that's really nice. Now, you know, I'd just like to thank you for your time. You know, I know it was a, a bit of a tough session down there, so you know, all the best for December. I'm sure we'll catch up again in the future. Thank you. Thank you.